Welcome back to our channel, dear students. For the week 3 of the second quarter, the topic is all about algebraic expressions. So by the end of this video, you are expected to illustrate related terms in algebra. A single variable or a combination of mathematical symbols, variables, and constant constitute an algebraic expression. We are familiar with the arithmetic statement 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. But there are times, however, when expressions have missing terms which are represented by x or y just like this. In this expression, x and y may take values from the set of integers that make the statement true. For example, 5 plus 0 is equal to 5. 4 plus 1 equals 5. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5 and 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. There is an infinite number of values that can take the places for x and y and these letters are called variables and the number 5 which remains unchanged that is what we call the constant. So now, let us discuss the different terms in algebra. The first one is the positive integer exponent, where a should not be equal to 0, and n is a positive integer. This expression can be written as this. Similarly, this one can be written as this. The variable x is the base and the number 3 is the exponent. When we say exponent, it tells how many times the base is used as a factor. For example, in this, then we are gonna multiply the base which is 5. We're gonna multiply it by itself 3 times since the exponent is 3. So, 5 times 5 times 5, and that is 125. So, 5 cubed is equivalent to 125. Take note that one thing to remember when we're talking about exponent is that an exponent of 1 can be omitted in a term. So, for instance, in this expression, since the exponent of 1 can be omitted, then this expression is written as this. So, for us to know how to read expression with exponent, let us study these examples. For this, it can be read as 4 to the second power or 4 squared and this can be read as 2 to the third power or 2 cube and for this it can be read as x to the fourth power or x to the fourth for the next term we have the constants and variables Variable is a symbol that represents an unknown number. So symbols like x, y, a, the symbol for alpha, the symbol for beta, and the symbol for theta can be used as variables. And a constant, it is a symbol which has exactly one number or a fixed value in its replacement set. 
So any numeral is a constant such as 7, 4, 11, and pi. So consider this expression. 4x squared plus 3y plus 2. The number 2 is a constant and the letters x and y are known as the variables. We also have the term literal coefficients and numerical coefficients. Numerical coefficient or simply coefficient is referred as the numerical factor of a term and the literal coefficient is the variable factor of a term. So for instance, in this term, 3x squared, 3 is called the numerical coefficient and x squared is called the literal coefficient. Another term, negative x, the term negative x has a numerical coefficient which is negative 1 and a literal coefficient which is x and the term 5 is called the constant which is usually referred to as the term without a variable or simply a constant term numerical coefficient is the number part of a term while literal coefficient is the variable including its exponent the word coefficient alone is referred to as the numerical coefficient we also have algebraic expressions terms and polynomials algebra is a branch of mathematics which generalizes the facts of arithmetic the result of combining symbols such as letters, numbers, punctuations, and operations of arithmetic is called an algebraic expression or simply an expression. Some examples of algebraic expressions are 2x, 7, negative 3y plus 4, 4 multiplied by x, y, and z. A term is a constant or a variable or constants and variables multiplied together. For example, we have 4, x, y, and 8 multiplied by y and z. And for the last we have the number of terms, degree of the term, and the degree of the polynomial. Term is any algebraic expression separated from another algebraic expression by a plus or a minus sign. In these expressions, there are four terms, namely 5x to the fourth power, 2x cubed, y cubed, negative xy, and negative 7. While in these expressions, there are three terms. The degree of a term is the exponent of its variable, while the degree of the polynomial is the highest degree appearing in any of the terms in that polynomial. For example, in the polynomial 3x to the 4th power plus x squared minus 9x plus 7, the degree of the terms are as follow. 3x to the 4th has degree 4 x squared has degree 2, negative 9x has degree 1, and 7 has degree 0. Since 4 is the highest degree, 
the degree of this polynomial is degree 4. But if a term consists of two or more variables, the degree of the term is the sum of the exponents of the variables. For example, in this polynomial, we have the degree of each term as follow. For this, it has degree 3 because of the sum of the exponent. The exponent of x is 1 and the exponent of y is 2. Therefore, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. And for this, it has degree 6 because of the sum of the exponent. And for this, it has degree 4. Since 6 is the highest sum of the exponent from the term 7x squared and y to the 4th power, the polynomial xy squared plus 7x squared and y to the 4th power minus 5y to the 4th power has degree of 6. There are also different kind of polynomial according to the number of terms. We have monomial, binomial, trinomial, multinomial or the other term is polynomial. Monomial if it has only one term, for example, negative 7x cubed, 53, 8x and x. And for binomial, it has two terms. For instance, 5x minus 7y. Trinomial if it has three terms. For example, x squared minus 8x plus 12. And for polynomial, it has four or more terms. For example, x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x plus 5. So that ends our video for today. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.